I have some amazing hacks to share with you that are going to have you running to the Dollar Tree, especially if you are tackling back to school season right now. First off, I have to start by telling you about one of the best Dollar Tree dupes that I have found in my like decade of creating Dollar Tree content. I shared this recently on my Instagram, but LA's totally awesome oxygen base cleaner. This is like a stain treatment slash laundry booster. I honestly don't buy tons of Dollar Tree cleaning products, but this one grabbed my eye and I ended up using it on my white Allbirds. And when they came out whiter than I'd ever seen them come out of the washing machine before, I had to dig it a little bit deeper. And I ended up looking at the active ingredients inside of this product and found out that it was sodium carbonate and sodium percarbonate. Then I realized that sodium carbonate is just the same thing that washing soda is. Washing soda is something that I've been using in my washing for a little while. It's one of the ingredients that you use if you ever have done laundry stripping. You can add it into your washing machine to help with deep stains and you can also stain treat with it. I buy my washing soda for about 40 cents an ounce while this stuff only costs about eight cents an ounce. Then I looked at the other active ingredient, which is sodium percarbonate. Very similar, but not exactly the same. But essentially when sodium percarbonate dissolves into water, it lets off hydrogen peroxide, which helps to um, break down stains as well as disinfect. And then I learned sodium percarbonate is what makes up about 60% of OxyClean. You know OxyClean, you have seen those commercials. And then it turns out about 30% of OxyClean is sodium percarbonate. So essentially this LA Oxygen Base Cleaner is just an exact dupe for OxyClean, but at Dollar Tree prices. Okay, let's talk about some organization hacks. These are great for back to school, but just general home organization hacks. First up is you can buy these tool hooks in the tool section of the Dollar Tree. They're actually good for tools, but I have found uses for them like all throughout my house. So I've used them to hang up lunch boxes. I've used them for hanging backpacks. I recently hung a bunch in the nursery for baby number four to hang all of our baby carriers. They're just really super versatile. I love when the Dollar Tree comes out with these storage containers, usually at back to school time. Sometimes you can find them year round. I find they're really great for kids storage, especially arts and crafts and like different arts and crafts projects. Along with arts and crafts, I also find these bins really great for organizing tech stuff as well. Um, audio stuff, camera stuff, random cords and whatever that you might have. Next up is using the Dollar Tree frames and you can buy like adhesive magnets. I just get this on Amazon. You're gonna take the stand off the back of your frame and put on these adhesive magnets instead. And these work really great to just better organize your fridge. If you're a family like us where you keep some like important information on the fridge, it can just start to look like a jumbled mess of like a bunch of different papers. So I like taking some of that information, consolidating it down into these frames with the magnets and it just sort of keeps the fridge a little more tidy but you still have all your most useful information that you need right there. And if you're somebody who does things like grocery lists or meal planning, frames are really great because you can put a printable behind the frame and then you can write on the glass with dry erase and continue to reuse this over and over again and become sort of like a reusable dry erase board. Which on that note, you can also use the Dollar Tree frames to create little like morning routines for your children. This would work great for bedtime routines or also as good for chore lists. And it's just sort of a very quick, easy visual for my kids of the steps that we take every single morning. And again, because it's dry erase, you can give them a dry erase marker and let them check off their progress as they go. Another way you can do this is with the report covers that you can get at the back to school section from the Dollar Tree. These essentially are just like paper covers that you can put on any piece of paper. They essentially will make anything dry erase as well. And you can clip these up various ways or again just add magnets and add this to a refrigerator. And while we're on the topic of dry erase hacks, I learned this hack a year or two ago and I thought it was so brilliant. If you have a wall clock of any kind, you can use a dry erase marker to sort of fill in blocks of time to identify about how much time you have for each thing. This is really great for kids who tend to be very visual. It helps sort of keep them on track and moving throughout their schedule during the morning or the evening routine. You could obviously do larger blocks of time too for maybe after school. It's very visual so they can look at it, they can see how much time has elapsed inside of that block of time, how much time is left, even if they're unable to tell time. Well, we're talking about dry erase hacks. I wanna share with you this little um, dry erase board that I had made a few years ago. I just took four of the frames from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start by removing the backing and the glass from all of them. And then I hot glued these together. And then you can decide to spray paint them if you want. In this instance, I went ahead and spray painted the whole thing white. And then you are going to fill the backs 
how you want. And you can get really creative here. You can put your own custom lined paper in or calendars in, or you can just do fun colored papers. I just went for basic gray here, but really you can customize this. Add the backs back into them. And then again, you can write on these however you want using dry erase markers, creating a totally custom dry erase board. I love the Dollar Tree shoe organizers for just like random wall organization. So I've used it in nurseries to organize just random stuff like, you know, diaper creams and sunscreen and lotion and that sort of stuff. But for back to school, I also really love it for organizing my kids' outfits. So I will do like one or two spots per day of the week. And then I can pull out my kids' wardrobe for the entire week and I don't have to think about it in the busy morning rush. Dollar Tree has these little pullout bins that I think are really great for snacks in refrigerators. I have one particular child who will basically ask from snacks from the minute she get home, gets home until dinner. One of the simplest ways to combat that is simply having something available for her that if she is so hungry, she can still have it. So I like using these pullout bins to put sort of like some nice healthy snacks they can help themselves to, but I know it's not going to ruin dinner. And I love that it just sort of slides in and out. It's also really good for just storing refrigerator snacks in general. If you're somebody who buys like a lot of yogurt pouches, if you're like us, paperwork is like constantly getting the best of us in our house and we really try to stay on top of it. And one hack I really love is having a clipboard for either each category that you need it for or each person of the house. For our season of life right now, it works really well to have a clipboard per person. So like my husband can keep maybe like bills or paperwork that he's holding on to. I have one for each of my kids, which is really helpful for all the school paperwork. What I love about clipboards is it's just really easy to clip any papers or notes or envelopes onto it. They all come with like a little tab in the back. So you can literally just use a command hook to hang these up in just a really easy, simple place to keep some of that paperwork organized. You can buy these book bins at the Dollar Tree, which are really great for books. But if you actually flip these sideways, they can be really good for storing water bottles and kid sized cups. I don't find them great for full size water bottles that you would use like as an adult, but for the kid sized water bottles, they are a really, really great solution. Muffin liners, you can buy these at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they can be great in a pinch just to help separate foods on plates or in lunch boxes. We do have a set of the silicone ones as well. I will link those down below, which are really great because they're a reusable option. I use them in lunch boxes and I'm not gonna lie makes for a pretty easy cleanup if you have say a kid that like loves ketchup this is we're gonna go on a side tangent here I don't eat ketchup I don't like I don't have anything wrong with it I just like I don't care for it I literally can't tell you the last time I ate ketchup my husband is a ketchup person you all know what I mean there there are ketchup people right that put ketchup on everything things that you don't even think ketchup should go on they put the ketchup on those things my husband has introduced the children to ketchup and actually has turned out to be pretty great because kids love to dip things and sometimes ketchup will encourage my children to eat things that maybe they wouldn't because they can dip it in the ketchup I digress all I'm saying is if you have a ketchup or a dip kid you can pour them into these liners as well and then you can just throw the liners away and it makes doing the dishes a lot easier as well. Dollar Tree has these conversation starters that I thought were so cute. They have an icebreakers one and a family one and the family one immediately made me think of like family dinners especially getting back to school and getting back into our routine. I took a bunch of these and just emptied them into a little glass jar and I thought these would be really cute to keep out on a dining room table and you could grab one or two every single night when you're having dinner with your family. Dollar Tree sells ceramic markers in the dollar plus section. And I thought this was great for some DIY gifts. I use this to make a cute like back to school mug for a teacher, but obviously the options here are really endless. It would be really fun to just have your kids decorate them. I just thought this was such an awesome Dollar Tree find. These work like any other ceramic markers if you've ever used them before, where you bake the item in the oven at the end to set the marker. I always like to remind you guys that Dollar Tree sells art smocks for kids. These are really great. I have been in situations where my kids have been in daycare to provide their own art smocks or really great if you're just doing your own arts and crafts at home with your kids. The price point I think is really great. Definitely don't pass up the ones at the Dollar Tree. For me, back to school can often mean we're inundated with lots of invitations to birthday parties. And here's a really great gift bag hack. All you're going to do is take the end of the handles and you're going to push the little like hard piece through the hole on the opposite side. And you're gonna do this for all four ends. And then you can just grab each loop and you're going to pull it tight and it's going to hold the bag closed for you. I really like it for birthday parties because sometimes when I do gift bags, I'm worried that the bag's gonna tip over and the present's gonna fall out when there's like a big pile of gifts. This just ensures that your bag will stay closed. 
Last up, I love these spray bottles from the Dollar Tree because I have become really big on making my own multi-purpose cleaners. I still have store-bought cleaners in my home for like some specific cleaning of things, but the everyday cleaner that I use is essentially just a mix of filtered water, some vinegar, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and then I will put a drop or two of essential oil in just for the smell. I found it as hands down my favorite multi-purpose cleaner. I love that I know the ingredients that are in it so I can use it on everything from kitchen counters to high chairs to inside of lunch boxes to the dining room table. All right, my friends, that does it. Some amazing hacks that I have been loving from the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.